Hello everyone, Seika Seen. My name is Jackie Calanchini and I am a tribal member and the curator of collections for the Shingle Springs Band of Miwok Indians. I'm excited to present to you part two of our community exhibit, Multiple Horizons. Back in November, we got to touch base on the land and surrounding areas that the Crocker Museum sits on. We got to look into the different ways in which people gathered and united here. Many of our guest artists express their connection to this land as well. This time, we're gonna look into tribal perspectives at the confluence and our connection to the river. The Sacramento and American rivers unite nearby, and these beautiful resources create a fertile and diverse ecosystem. As river people, my tribe has thrived from the gifts of these rivers for thousands and thousands of years. Despite disruptions, we are eager to relearn, reteach, and reconnect with the relationships with this land. Some of us work hard to make it a normal thing in our communities. Here with me today are some of my fellow tribal members. Some of them are staff of our cultural resource department. All of them have contributed their artwork to this show and all of them have a valuable and positive representation for their grandmothers, their grandfathers in our community. Our roots run deep here, which is why it's an honor for me to help to showcase my community and the many artists that you could see on the online gallery. I want to extend our gratitude to the Crocker Museum and staff for inviting us down to represent ourselves on the motherland. Our goal is that more people will understand that after all this time we are still here. We want to see the prosperity of the land, which is the prosperity of our people, and that our culture did not die with the suppression of old ways. Instead, it continues to live and grow with us. Majuxis and Seikasin. My name is Daniel Burnett. I'm a tribal member with the Shingle Springs Rancheria. I work for the tech department and my grandmother was born at Pashuna at the confluence of the Sacramento. The tech department is very important to me as a tribal member and to my cousins and family members. We go on gathering um, trips down to our Aboriginal territory at the confluence to gather materials almost on a weekly basis to put on workshops for the community, for the youth to bring back our traditions and hold on to them the best way we can. It is very important to us as a tribe to instill our histories and tradition into our youth to carry on the traditions for the generations to come. My name is Pedro Alvera. I'm a tribal member from Shingle Springs Band of Miwok Indians. I work in the tech department. I'm a gatherer slash researcher for our tribe. Um, I do a lot of stuff bringing back our culture as far as um, gathering, looking for natural materials. Um, and making regalia, making jewelry, and just giving back to the community. I like going out and gathering our um, Aboriginal territories all along the river. We made this tule boat, and it was for one of our ancestors coming back in the Bay Area all the way to our, our Aboriginal territory. Sometimes I can be artistic. Um, I like to teach beadwork. It means a lot to me, especially making our dancers look good. Um, there's no other feeling than doing that piece for that person. My job means a lot to me as far as, you know, bringing back and revitalizing our, our culture and uh, giving back to the youth so that, you know, so they got something to fall back on as they grow. Uh, it means a lot, especially, you know, dancing and making the regalia and singing. I mean, it just means the best. Um, so I did Valley Girl. Um to represent um, the girl who lived at Pashune and tried to reflect what that would look like. And I used Thule um, for her skirt uh, because Thule is a very important plant um, that I think we should bring back to this river. Um, and Valley Girl, is really making a statement that she's here and she's alive. Um, that she lives right here on the confluence of the river. And in her hand, she has her baskets that she has made to collect food that she gathers from the river. And everything that Valley Girl is wearing is collected from 
this river. Um, so this is a true representation of, of, of life on the river and what it would look like even today. Um, that this is who we are as Nisanan Pewanan people and this is what a real valley girl would look like. Hi, my name is Kathleen Solaris, uh, but I have many names. Sometimes I go by Cat or even Kitty. Um, I'm a mother, a fighter, a survivor, and an artist. I'm also a member of the Shingle Springs Band of Miwok Indians. Uh, it's crazy to say that I'm an artist, um, but I guess I've been one my whole life. Um, I've always used my art and my creativity to get out the things that I hold inside. Uh, it's my own medicine, my own therapy. The second piece of medicine I created is Water Bearer's Gift. Um, again, it is a self-portrait. Um, it is an image of maybe what I might have looked like 100 years ago. Um, behind me is the image of Pangea, or the world, as I would see it in my own mind. Um, and the grandmother oaks growing out of it, wise and old behind me, um, strong and proud. And really tiny on this painting, when you get a chance to look, it's marked where we come from. So there's a little mark there. So, and then um, being an Aquarius, I am a water bearer. And that also shows uh, one of our native baskets and the money necklaces that this shows. The third creation in the series is called Spirit of the Valley Oak, a self-reflection. And it shows acorns and oak leaves dropping all around me, a much more modern depiction of myself um, as I would be dressed today, more likely. Um, and it shows the valley oak, which is more of a local tree, a local um, inhabitant, one of the ones that our ancestors would have been surrounded by as well. Hi, my name is Jamie Lanawet. I am um, Nisanon with Shingle Springs Band of Miwok Indians. Um, uh, in the past few years, I've been working in the Cultural Resources Department and have had the opportunity to learn much more about um, my ancestors, um, like how they lived, their relationship to the land and each other, and their basketry. So this is my first attempt at a baby basket, which my people call Ota. I used oak for the frame. Um, I used peeled willow for the backing. Um, they're tied together by dog bane string and they're tied to the frame by willow bark. Um, I adorned this basket with pine nuts, madrone berries, olivella, blue oak acorn, and juniper berry. And for the tie, I used cotton string and a finger weave. Um, this basket was commissioned by my cousin Pete. Um, he asked me to make him a backpack. It is whole shoot twined basket with live oak rims for support and another finger weave cotton strings, straps, deer hide, and finished it off with a black oak acorn. Um, the box of treasures is, is really just that. It um, holds a bunch, a bunch of treasures that um, you would get, obviously, from the water. And um, treasures has starts off with, at the top, you have a small junkus basket. Um, and that basket in particular um, was, uh, the junkus was collected right here on the Sacramento River. And also it has um, rose hip coming out of it, which also was collected right here at the Sacramento River. Um, on the next road down, we have olivella shells, which um, obviously was a trade item. Um, it's a shell that came from the ocean and one that um, we love very much. Um, right next to it is dogbane. Uh, that cordage was made and I think collected right here off the Sacramento River. There's also milkweed string. Um, and third row down, 
We have some food, some acorn, which was life. Um, that was a course at the river's edge. We have abalone, um, which is very, very um, important shell. And um, we also have the traditional walnut dice game, which is made out of uh, black walnut. And those walnuts were actually collected right here at the confluence of the river. And that game is also made with sap and ash and small pieces of shell. And these are all treasures that came from the waterway that we thought um, should, that we love and wanted to share with you all. Thank you.